well, after I had, I guess it was 17, 18, I can't, 18 years, I was a CEO of MTV Network. So Overnight success, as they would say. <laughs> yeah, and it was like I was doing the same thing, but I really loved it. It was still so much fun, and we were always doing something new, and people were great. They said, well, you know, my boss, my subsequent was Sumner Redstone, who was the billionaire owner of Viacom. Not the owner, but he's the principal owner. And then he asked me if I wanted to uh, be the CEO of Viacom, which then would have been um, BET, Paramount Pictures, Simon & Schuster, big book publisher, uh, famous music, music publishing. And uh, I, 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 I told him I had to think about it. Cause, uh, so when I thought about it, I came back the next day. I said, I want to speak to my wife about it. I was really excited and flattered. And I came back the next day. I said, you know, I'll take it. And he says, well, I already o offered it to Les Moonves, who was uh, my peer who ran CBS. He says, you know, so then he sp we split the company into two. So we became co, he became, this Redstone became the CEO, and we became the two, his two lieutenants. And we each ran essentially half of the company. And we would meet together. It worked out pretty well. We did that for a couple of years. Um, and, uh, you know, the company's began continued to grow. It was a new type of job for me. I was dealing more with Wall Street and uh, other types of issues on the, on the so-called corporate level. And then uh, we decided, uh, it was decided um, to split the company into two parts formally. So I was CEO of what became Viacom, which was Paramount, MTV Networks, BET, and Les took what was CBS Inc. And those companies still exist today. Uh, and I did that for about eight months. And then I got fired. 